Alright, where are you, Kareem? I know you're in here. You said it on the radio. fruits and an energy bar beam you in here uh oh oh hi guys you missed you did not I don't care. All right, you're dead. Don't you throw that at me. Sit down. More throwing stars. You love to see it. Dream. Where are you, buddy? Oh, off with your head. Oh, and off with your head. Damn, he died like that. You're next, bitch. Cut the power, huh? All right. Sorry, I got my strong muscles. You ready for this? Yeah. All right. So you cut the power. I'll just go through the roof and climb my way up. And over here, and then. Wait, I, oh, I have to go over here. And then, there we go. And then, there we go. All right, now I'm shimmy on over. Then, there we go. Where you at, Kareem? Kareem, it's Crane. Drop your weapon or you're dead. What the hell's your problem? This doesn't concern you. Sorry, Kareem, but Errol Asani is my concern. You're working for him? <laughs> You're a fool. I was his bodyguard, okay? After everything got fucked up and they built the wall, we got overrun. He got bitten on the leg. I took him to Randall, the only doctor I knew in the slums, and we cut it off, clean. It was the only way. He would have turned if we hadn't done it. I understand. The bastard never forgave us. So, we parted ways. So why are you trying to track him down now? Early on, the authorities evac all the political bigwigs out of the zone. Errol told us there was a chopper on the way to take us out with him. Then he got bitten. And with all the shit that happened after that, we missed the flight. But after you turned on the transmitter, we heard Errol asking for evac. And a couple of days ago, somebody responded. From outside. The old bastards got a flight out, and I want a seat on it. All right, what about Rice? Does he care about this guy? Not a rat's ass. This was my business. I just want to get out of Haran. Yeah, well, it looks like you won't be making that flight, huh? That had already dawned on me. But I'd like to walk out of here. Look, if I see you again, 
I'm gonna assume the worst, you got it? Fair enough. Good luck, Crane. You're going to need it. Got my eye on you, Kareem. Alright. So I'm hearing two different stories, and I don't know... It's... One of them is from a guy that I've never met before, and the other guy is working with a scumbag. I don't know what's gonna happen. All I know is I gotta return the Earl. I found the guys who've been tracking Earl, and Kareem was one among them. Seems Kareem was Earl's bodyguard, and that Earl lost his leg after being infected. More importantly, he said Earl has arranged for a cop. A copter? Why couldn't you just say a chopper? Uh, to evac, evac him out of her own. Kareem was hoping to be on it, but Earl doesn't want him. I'll have to talk to Earl again. Alright, let's do this. Ooh, a statue. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, that's locked. Okay. Just want to check everything before I actually get off this place. And I hear a... Yep, there it is. Oh, and it, it's landing right next to me. Oh, you love to see it. We'll grab that on the way over there. Everything's turning out right. Hey, nope. Yeah, I did get that, by the way. That's what happens. Yeah, they all immediately get distracted and go to the car trap and then it blows up. Well, it doesn't really blow up. It's kind of like a, um, kind of like a concussion thing, but it works, and I get free XP for it, so you love to see it. All right, back to the school so we could deliver the car batteries, and then I'll have to talk to Earl. <laughs> Hey! Yes, it does, bitch. It... Nice mohawk. Ooh. Come on. That guy ran away because I pulled out my gun. It doesn't even have any ammo. I don't even have ammo for it. Relax. He ran away like a little bitch. Your boy just left you. Hey. Oh shit. Does that hurt me? It does hurt me. <laughs> God, God damn it. Uh, well. Hey, I got the XP for it though. And I'm back here. Here are your batteries. We had to check them for bite marks. <laughs> well done. Well, no problems with the counting part of the mission? How much more do you need to do on this project of yours? None of your business. Goodbye. I can count. I see two assholes right here. Hey, guys. Hey, you. Did you find them? Yeah, I did. Kareem's take on losing your leg was a bit different than yours. So, you talked to him. Edward was right. You do talk too much. You should leave the talking to people like me, and I'll leave the killing to people like you. However... Karim was my bodyguard. He allowed me to get bitten, but I don't really blame him for that. Hey, he saved your life. By hacking off my leg? The morning I was bitten was the same day they began dropping suppressants. 
You understand? I told him the antigen drops would begin within hours. All they had to do was wait. Instead, he listened to that idiot doctor of his and held me down as the butcher chopped off my leg. Now he thinks I should fly him out of here. Well, I told him that's not going to happen. You should have killed him. Hello. Don't you leave the killing to people like me, huh? Quite right. I can get you out of here, Crane. Maybe I like it here. I do you like it here. You've made your own arrangements. Well, they won't work. You've been bitten. I can see it in your eyes. You'll never get past the NCOR quarantine. I'll be fine. What? You see, you have no idea what's going on in the real world. Whoever you think you know, they're not political. And that's the only thing that's going to work now. You don't believe me? Then think of it as an ace up your sleeve. A backup plan. In case you haven't noticed, things don't always work out the way they're supposed to in this town. Really? Uh, if I'm interested, what happens next? Two things. The first is we need to paint some markers on the rooftop. There's no paint around here, so you'll have to go out and find some. Uh, of course. And the second thing is... Well, let's just say you'll be leaving here in a better way than when you arrived. What is that supposed to mean? No. Go find some paint. Fine. I'll be an errand boy once again. He's still talking to me even though I already left. <sighs> Alright. You gotta find some paint, huh? There's one. Get out of here. Actually, let me uh dismantle this and then put this right here. Beautiful. War chief. Damn right, I'm a war chief, bitch. Alright. Alright, paint. Yes, I know. I already got one. Paint. Is there some up here? One, or there's two. Then I just need a third. Want a deal? Oh hi. What are you doing up here? Ooh, I like that. You can take that, and I will sell the lesser one. Yes. There we go. Okay. Oh wait, 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 sell all valuables. But well, it's not much, but yeah. Alright, where is this other paint that I'm looking for? The nailed plank, I don't need that. That won't open. I need some paint. How does one find paint? What is paint? This leads back to the roof. That's trash, I don't need that. Looking, I'm using my survivor sense to see if I can find some. Ow. It's in this area, I know it. That's the first pain I got. Here it is. Alright. Go to the roof and use the paint. Okay. 
what are we gonna say? Help? We're so original, we're gonna write help on the thing. Yes, that's how I ran it at H as well. That's how I ran it at L too. Excuse me. Get your ass out of here, I'm busy. There we go. Alright, now what? All right, did your stuff. The roof's been painted. Good. Now there is one last thing. There's a duffel bag in a locker on the second floor. I'd like you to bring it to me. Since you'll probably open it, there's no point trying to hide the fact that there's $24.7 million inside it. One third of it is yours, if you can bring it back. Why doesn't Edward get it? Uh, there are too many biters there. I can't risk losing him. We'd be completely defenseless. Okay. This money is yours. Most of the bank's depositors are no longer human. Stealing from them isn't a crime. Why have you never once I taken the wallet true. of a biter that you've beaten to death? I mean, I, I do that all the bag, time. But there's no calling in the evac until I say so. When I bring back the money, I'm taking the radio. That is unacceptable. Yeah, but you'll accept it anyway because you have no choice. You're worse than cream. Very well. I accept your terms. So we have to go get his possessions? Okay, so how do we get down there? I know we have to go to the basement, but do we have to... Oh, we gotta go through... yeah, over here. He's gonna take off without me, I know he is. Word of God, if I hear a helicopter when I'm down here... That's probably what's gonna happen, isn't it? All right, let's go find this damn duffel bag. Hey, buddy. Damn, he took that like a champ. Not that time, though. All right, which one's this duffel bag? Empty, of course. God damn it. And he's locked! You son of a bitch! Yep. Sorry, Karin. I had no choice. God damn you. Kareem said I was a fool to trust you. It's not what you think. I would have taken you with me. I contacted the evac when you were off getting the paint. I had to tell who would be on board, so I gave them your name. No. Yeah, good luck to you in hell. All right, get me out of here. <sighs> I knew it too. I knew it was gonna happen because I played this game before. I mean, what? Nothing. Pony money story. Yep. Never trust a handicap. Oh, look who's here. Crane, how's your day been? Pretty shit. Yeah, I thought we had an understanding. I think we have a better understanding now. But if you want to shoot me, I want time, to. Maybe he did leave you a few goodies. I was going to nick them, but I thought, no, Crane's ordered them. Let him have them. Well, you're almost okay, Kareem. <laughs> almost. Until next time. Good luck, Kareem. Exactly. 
All right, so he didn't take the stuff. And we leveled up. You absolutely love to see it. Now, let's get that... Yes, that grappling hook. You pick up the reward from your stash at the, any safe house or get it from the quartermaster. I will do just that. Look at this wheelchair. How did he even get up here? They had time to carry that wheelchair up here and leave without me while I was going to go get some damn fake money. That must have been slow as hell, or they must have been s running Sanic speed. I wouldn't be surprised if that leg was actually camouflaged. Like, he still has both his legs. Who knows? Well, it doesn't matter now. Alright, anything else before I leave? Oh, okay, we're good. And I think, yep, the only side quest we can do is deliver the crayons. Only one? That sucks. <laughs> By the way, um, I know a couple games came out last time, since the last time I, uh, posted. Uh, there was two games that came out. Well, I say one and a half because the first one's uh, at early access. Um, uh, Tekken 8 released. I was thinking of playing that. And the other one is Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. So, yeah. Those two games came out. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get both, but... But there's a whole bunch of games that I want to get, but at the same time, at the same time, I want a PC so I can make some better videos. All right, who wants these crayons? Hello. You found some crayons. Oh, fantastic. You're the best. The kids are going to lose their minds. But in a good way. Here, take this. You'll make better use of it than I will. Thank you. What's your plan? I love that game. That's the void. And I think he's holding it upside down. Because the analog stick is on the, the right side when reality it should be on the left side or either that or he's playing it the other way where the right stick moves and like moves your body whatever kids be kids so whatever all right so now I think that's all the side quests yep all the side quests are done so now we just gotta get a bolter a bolter sample and then we'll be good to go can't purchase anything. Good for you. The quartermaster showed me where to look for bolters. Great. Nothing I like more than running around the city after the sun goes down. What do you mean? That's my favorite activity. <laughs> <laughs> 